Hey guys, this is Rookie Duty here to play and commentate. Here with my best friend Shaky. Uh, We're going to go to Unassuming Docks and play the new DLC. Uh, so hopefully you're reading this because it's pretty damn funny. Unassuming Docks of uh, potentially little importance. So Shaky, would you like to say anything? Uh, I've never played this game and I have no idea what we're doing, but Holly Popper came go. out September, but here's the cutscene. Once upon a time, so just to get a little impromptu knowledge on this, it's kind of like a. World Parody of Dungeons and Dragons. This is our most desperate hour. This will I have spoilers of Borderlands 2 story, so the fuck you watching this? Now. Yeah, that's totally Dungeons What's and Dragons. Initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Tina, why don't you start over? <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale. Yeah, so they're really not taking any uh, kind of secretive initiative in making this a parody of Dungeon Dragons, Bunkers and Badasses. Yeah. If we were drinking to this, I would have made that drinking game every time the word badass appeared. We would have already had to like, take like three shots or three beers, drinks. Simon, Dibs. My Everyone in this show except this guy has bad hair. Like, that guy's hair is terrible. Tina, Everyone why don't else you just is badass, start now but... and figure that out later? Come on, girl. You know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's. You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not here anymore. Yeah, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said. Now, if you're gonna if you actually do a drinking game of this, do a drinking game not for how many times we say badass, but how many times it appears on the screen. Badass, badass, badass. Because we, we be dicks. The of flame, to be honest, this Tiny Tina this in this game is my really fucking nice. favorite. She's just like a white girl who's everything. acting like a black girl. I say I like we head toward the town to investigate. I'm um, Mordecai. I've never played Dungeon Dragons, but from what I've heard, this is how it goes, where it's just like f a month, like, kind of experience where they do this crap. So right now, I'm just fucking around with stuff, like, checking out stuff. I'm a level 50 soldier in this one, even though all the enemies are gonna be, like, level 38 and stuff of that. Yeah, I didn't really want to die in this. <laughs> I just want to be a badass and kill everything. Wait, did messed up the town? Why would things be lovely? Uh, whoops. Uh, what I meant to say is, it's eternal night, and you hear spooky music. And the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Kind of smells like butts. Did yeah, he definitely doesn't pay attention. Yeah, this is uh, Axed in the soldier class. He's the one that I told you was that whole uh, controversy in the beginning when Four Lines 2 came out because he uh, was bisexual. Uh, crap, who did develop this game? Or whatever. The people who developed this game, they had that as a thing and then they took it back, like saying, shh, don't tell anyone because people flipped out about that. But they said, actually, we don't flip out about it. But yeah. So I'm just going to be sticking to these guns because fuck it, I'm not going to die and I want to kill these things in three bullets. Killing stuff is good. Oh yeah. So right now, just using some basic weapons, elemental types, because why the fuck not? And I don't give a shit about aiming right now because a single bullet in their head will kill them. And I kind of got some really awesome guns. That's because <clears throat> I had a friend give, give them to me, um, or, or, or say I earned them. Let, yeah, let's say I earned the guns. Let, let, let's say I spent like 20 hours like trying to get these guns. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't just have a mass uh, duplication session. You get close to the Nothing illegal, because I'm not a pirate. <laughs> Thanks for pointing out the obvious. The dragon attacks and... <laughs> Bring up the Wanna meet my girlfriend? Yeah, if I was in level 50, I'd probably be dead by this point. And just for a little hint on you, Shaky, um, these characters that I'm talking, except for Tiny Tina, were the original characters in Borderlands 1. Now, in this game, they actually talk instead of just grunting as the main character that we play as. How about a new boss? He's a skeleton. And his name is Mr. Bony Pants. 
Oh, I've been called that several times in my life. Everyone, if you didn't catch that, that was a sexual reference. Did that work? If you didn't get that, I don't think you're old enough to watch this video. If you didn't get that, then. It, it, this game's much thinner. This ga game is rated bloody F and M. <laughs> and I don't know why I just like censored my own swearing because this game's motherfucking M. I can swear whenever I want. Exactly. All right, the road to Flame Rock Refuge is open. You should go there. Yeah, I totes plan that, boss. I like these achievements because they're just straight up like making fun of the game, or they're like just parodies. Yeah, see again, I really can't die, and I'm just fucking around with weapons. I love this gun because it's uh, one of the infinite ammo guns that you get uh, from killing Dr. Mercer a lot, and I can literally fire this gun forever. It's kind of my go-to gun if I ever run out of ammo. Yeah, right. I'll yeah. Right now I'm just doing preferences. I'll just turn that because when I go to busy on Xbox Live, then I don't have to deal with people going up the line. I didn't realize that at that point. So yeah, you'll meet a couple other interesting characters uh, that are pretty funny. Um, I didn't realize this until playing more Borderlands uh, that the Goliath, his voice actor is the one who does Mr. Torg. You'll meet him. He's fucking awesome. But yeah, yeah, everyone didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know what I was doing here. I think I was just showing off my epic uh, weapons I earned. Yeah, people in the game know that Orange is effing amazing, so they're like, "How the fuck did you spend getting all this? You've been not playing other games." Shh. That's what they make caffeine for. Do you that many? That would like I know a guy who killed like the one uh, boss like a hundred times just to get one gun. Oh wow. Yeah, I earn these guns. <laughs> yeah. So right now, just fucking with shit. It's just basic. At these points, we can just fuck around. So yeah, we're going to go try to kill Handsome Sorcerer, it's a play on Handsome Jack, the main villain in the actual game. Now your cat's playing with a fucking screw. Oh, it doesn't surprise me, that cat will play with anything. Yeah, well you just fucking were messing around with your cat <laughs> with a fucking laser light. Dude, you gotta put that on YouTube. You gotta, this, I'll put it up if you don't. You go for it. Like fuck, that'll just be like 10 million views and they're like, hey dude, you play games too? I'm like, yeah, you should check out that channel, fuck no, put more cat. <laughs> Everybody loves cats. That's what the internet was. Well, it's like, yeah, back when YouTube started, that's what cats were for. Main page. Cats! Uh, yeah. So, just walking around, uh, Flame Rock Refuge. Yeah! Damn, come on. We need to see more badass names. I need to get, I want to get hammered to this. <laughs> Fuck. So yeah, basically I've just been bored out of my mind with work and I haven't had much time to fuck around because work's been sucking because people have been getting le uh, are working less because they've got other jobs. So it's kind of like, hey, we need someone to work this shift. It's like, you're meaning me, right? They're like, yeah, so fuck. I just got back from a week in Fort McMurray, so. Yeah, that was fun. You don't really have to say locations because you guys have no idea. <laughs> they, they, when we say any locations for us, they're just like, oh, it's Canada. It's that place. Yeah. It's a big ass place. So, yeah, unfortunately, we get that nasty word sound because of this laptop. It just runs like a fucking tank. <laughs> that the fucking, like, on the, the Serbians have. And by that, I mean it's a shit tank. It's shit. Enter the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting blimps, always alert in case of battles and stuff. What you can do? Stop playing this <laughs> game. Let's talk to some town. A grand idea. Is your cat making that noise? Oh yeah. You know what, Kitty? I have a laser pointer. Go. 
Perhaps you could ally with the dwarves and form a resistance. It's not fucking Lord of the Rings. Fuck off. Dwarves are badass. Yeah, it's beyond Gimli is fucking sweet. Legolas, I killed fucking 26 of them. What you gonna do now? Huh? Sounds like we should go find this Eleanor. Uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put her piece on the board. Blam! Girl, looks like she got a problem. <laughs> I punch her problems. I talk to her. In character, of course. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just uh, showing off my awesome duds and also other shit that I got. I was bored. Like, dude, I was playing this at, like, fucking 10. I didn't realize it came out until, like, a week after it came out. <laughs> and now, by the time I put this video up online, it's probably, like, three weeks. Because, again, the two weeks I had was lazy getting my new PC set up and shit like that. It was actually pretty damn sweet getting that, that PC. That thing is fucking huge. Yeah, Can't well, we all that means is stay tuned for more better videos from Rookie Dude. Oh yeah, I'm planning to just like that thing's gonna be chopping out videos like Gazongas. Why am I still in this thing? Why don't I just get out? Just go back to the fucking like what did I use before? I think I used the Yeah, I used that mantis one. You get that from going to that mountain place where there's like a golem parody. Yeah, this game does so many bloody parodies. Like, it did the Gollum from Lord of the Rings. It, it did um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It did Hot Gun. Mm, somebody needs to get a little more original. To be honest, doing parodies is fucking hilarious, and this game does them a lot. Like, yeah, there was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hello, yeah, that, I'm trying to remember all the other parodies. But they were, they were parodies and side missions. Where'd she go? She said something about using the tree light to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest to help the queen. Okay. That bodyguard looks like she has a major problem with everything. Glandular problem? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, uh, Shaky here doesn't know, but like, yeah, most of these characters that they're using for this, like that, uh, Eleanor chick, uh, that's, uh, Oh crap, I forget what her name is. Uh, Ellis or no, Ellie or Pa. Ah. Uh, but all these characters are characters in the game, so if they don't look like generic citizens, then they're actually characters in the main game. Like, yeah, Ellie. Sorry, not Eleanor, Ellie. Okay, I can't go there or I will fall to my death, which you will see is pretty funny because it was crazy. Yeah, so we'll go talk to the gatekeeper. Now, most of you will recognize the gatekeeper via my last downloadable content uh, game for this. He was fucking awesome. Recognize this fucker? You don't? Just wait, just wait. Whoop, time out. I gotta take this. Miss Tina. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Torg, he had his own DLC, was uh, the badass creator of Badassitude. I see. If this is a parody, I want Gordon Ramsay in it. Oh, yeah. Like, what the fuck are you doing in my kitchen? Get the fuck out. Because we were talking about the F word. Yeah, so this conference call is like the epitome of boss weapons. Before they had the update, you'd use the conference call on the B-Shield. Uh, as you see with this gun, it just fucking fires everywhere, straight, left, right, it's crazy. And with the B-Shield, for every shot, it uh, gives a power bur burst. Um, I have the B-Shield right now. Of course, it's post-update, so they fixed it, which sucked. But it made the shot, like, uber-powerful. I don't use Uber a lot, and that's how powerful it was. Dude, like a couple days ago, I was cutting my neighbor's lawn. Fuck, I got stung by three wasps. <laughs> I'm not joking, that hurts so much. Like, I was like, <laughs> But unfortunately, I couldn't really swear because she's a nice old lady, so 
wasn't gonna just drop the like 20 f bombs. I get stung once. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll keep cutting the lawn. Get stung again. I'm like, where mm. were these hornets hiding? Huh? Where were these hornets hiding? Underneath the tree trunk that she ripped out a while ago. Then I got stung the third time and said, F it, I'm done. Leave the lawnmower right there. Time to do a 180 turn to the tavern. That's where we should be going right now. Yeah, we should, but it's only a recording time right now. It's a Tuesday. I don't know why there's a skeleton in this uh, town. There shouldn't be, but whatever. There's an enemy over there because it says a red blimp on my map, but fuck it. I ain't gonna go get him yet. But he's getting close, so I'll just kill him before like, I get bored. Come on, son of a gun. Yeah, these guns are pretty cool. Wait, now it does! <laughs> Very literally. Now, so what does the tavern uh, wench, I mean, sorry, tavern owner want? Because the guns I have are orange. Legend, wait for it. Dare yeah, see the orange is legendary, just showing it off. Because, uh, yeah, we all know Barney Stinson reference, reference right there. <laughs> see, again, parody after parody, but you know what? Fuck it. This game loves doing parodies. Like when they did the last game, they made the uh, level cap to 61. It was a reference, to, like I think some like uh, mu music band and stuff like that. It was crazy how many. Oh well. Like they do a lot of references. It's just insane. Like e everything they really do is just insane parodies. They do whatever they can. Like they did a Minecraft parody in this. They did like a Dark Soul. Like, they just go crazy. Yeah, so let's see what the tavern owner wants. Mad Moxie. Hey, adventurer. It's closing time, but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw them In other words, throw them out as kill them. Which I'm not surprised. And <laughs> douchebag. Uh, bar patron. I'll never do anything douchey again, I promise. It's a little late, but... <laughs> Have you ever punched someone so hard they explode? Neither am I, but we're gonna find out. Yes, yeah, so last time Shaky did a video was in Resident Evil... I forget which part it was, but it was with Leon, and I called it Intro to Rastafarian Man or whatever, the guy with the chainsaw. Yeah, so unfortunately this guy runs pretty fast, so it's kind of hard to catch up to him. So eventually I start getting edumacated and realize, why don't I just run in front of him? That works. But that'll take a while, because like, look at this guy. I mean, he just gets a, he gets a speed boost. And eat my shorts. <laughs> Simpsons. Not much. Yeah, see, look, speed boost. Asshole. Can't shoot him, no, you gotta punch him. And this goes on for a while. I'm not joking, I was that stupid. I was like, I can get you. Nope. I'm gonna go up these stairs. I I'm being smart as Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yep. Anything you, uh, else you want to say that's funny, interesting, or what for? Uh, not particularly. And here we go. Look at that. Yeah. But now I'm fucked. I'm at the point in the game where I can't seemingly get up. And so what I have to do is I have to do like a death scene right now because I can't get back up there. So I'm like, well, fuck it. We should hold a moment of silence for this. Pre <laughs> You really can't die in this game. Yeah, 
apparently. Nope. Fortunately, I lost like 37. Nope, I lost 371 grand. Or 100 grand, I should say. Oh, wow. Yeah. That one's expensive. Yeah. Well, of course. Huh. YOLO! Nah, unless you respawn. True. I like the tombstones that say, like, the name of a person says respawning in 3, 2, 1. As morbid as it is, it's pretty damn funny. Kind of reminds me of the one guy from The Simpsons with the mullet. He reminds me of another guy. Um, his name's Snowflake, and he's funny as hell. I need to put like a timer on how often your cat comes by, and just have my laser light preset so he runs into the wall. <laughs> like he'll he'll just come back, and then I'll send him over. He'll come back, and I'll send him over. That's Felix, right? You betcha, Felix the cat. And then you have a female cat named Fritz. Please, guys. I know some of you are not 18 and old enough to watch this game. Please do not type in in Google Fritz the Cat. Well, they already did, so they're going to have a fun time, and their parents going to have to explain the birds and bees. <laughs> Cartoon cat movie rated R for pornographic content and illicit drug usage. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just selling whatever guns I can sell. I'm not going to sell the legendary ones. I'm not a fucking idiot. Plus one, I really don't need to pick up guns. And god damn it, your cat's already back. Kitty, kitty, look at me, look at me. I can play Woo! wonder how many of his nine lives you've used up yet with him running into the wall. I see seven. Uh, we better lay off then. He's got to save those two lives for something useful. An awesome weekend? Potluck again? Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, me and Shaky, we have some awesome parties. No, I'm not going to videotape them. Those are very explicit and illicit. So, no. <laughs> I know you guys are going to ask for that, but you're not. And your cat's coming back even faster now. He's going to the corner. <laughs> He's staying there. Yeah, it's just figuring out what kind of weapons I'm going to use because... Fuck it, I got a lot. This game uh, won, uh, I think, or had Guinness World Record, I think, for most guns. Yeah, forest of being eaten alive and Damn. crap like that. I knew I have trusted trees. Again, this is almost like slight, even though it's already parroting uh, Dungeons Dragons. That's a slight Lord of the Rings reference to the walking trees. It's why we're lucky to live on the prairies. We don't true. have so many trees. Yeah, true. Can't really have farming with trees. Unless you're fucking cat, I'm like having to use this. I'm probably gonna use the battery in this. Maybe the queen left it to Mark for Trail. Then we should follow the jewels that lead us right to her. Yeah, what Big Lily Style said. Just stick to the main road. And yeah, so by her saying that, there's another thing gonna pop up saying a uh, bonus. It's like go, go off the, go off the trail. That gets fun. We're gonna do that, and it's gonna be fun. Yeah, if people aren't hearing that, that's uh, our friends here in the room. Uh, that's your girlfriend, and we got your brother. They're playing COD right now very quietly, which is awesome because that would F the sound up. Yeah, I kill, I kill the pixie. Aw, oh, dude. I get seven wishes now. That's probably Tinkerbell's sister. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> dude, I think your cat just tripped on the cord for the fan. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, m mostly, like, dude, I on my Minecraft video now, I got like 4,000 views. Oh, congratulations. On me being a very small-ass channel. But hopefully when I start doing some actual uh, hardcore uh, horror games, I get a bigger fan base. Even though that I, as you realize, I, f I, I fucking hate Slender. I fucking hate it. Yeah. Well, you played it like a fucking champ. You're like, <laughs> the fuck? 
like, yeah, there's a tall guy with a fucking, like, white face and a suit. I don't get why you can't fight back. That's half the point of the game. But one, since I've been so immersed into the story and watching the game, I, whenever I see or hear that fucking music, I just f- goosebumps. I'm just like, fuck it. It was pretty funny to watch, but I did have more fun watching you play it than playing myself. Yeah, because when, wa- when I was watching Shaky play it, <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I first saw Slender, him, when he was playing it, goosebumps. I was like, fuck, damn it, run! <laughs> you weren't even hearing the music. That's not the I was. It was these See, look, uh, explore side path. Uh, where you going? Exploring! You may One of my old roommates used to do that all the time. He'd go right. somewhere random and be like, what the hell are you doing, man? He'd be like, we're going on an adventure. See, look at this. Uh, here's the first drink, guys. Ultra mega badass treat. Or treat. Yeah, it's de- it's definitely a reference to Lord of the Rings because they were called treants. Or whatever the fuck they were called, I forget. Yeah, because, uh... If Tiani Tina didn't balance out the leveling, I would have got my ass right because that's an invincible level. Again, I'm level 50. These guys are like little ants to me. <laughs> but as people probably saw, and that looks like another legendary weapon, so fuck yeah. Look at that. Legendary. That's another B shield. Um, but. All the enemies are level 35 right now, but with that character he or that enemy he was at like 53. Was fucked. <laughs> How long are we gonna go for this? Cause we're only 27 minutes in. Up to you. I'd like to keep going, but if you wanted to uh, cut the short, we can. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so then I'll only be able to put mm, like maybe two parts. Or hell, if we were to do this in a single go, I just put up this entire fucking thing. One it's, up, it's up to you. It's a. Uh, no, it's less than two hours. That's what Tiger Woods did. Oh, 14 times. Imagine how much money they could have made if they made t-shirts with his face on them, saying, just do it. They've been doing that. Nike never dropped him. No? No. To be honest, uh, I like comedians talking about it. Um, they just say, Tiger Woods made the game uh, so much better because, one, he made it so he made it more attractive to play golf because, like, hey. Golfers get laid, too? Yeah, I know. It's, that's the entire joke. Golfers can get laid, too, 14 times, apparently. To be honest, Tiger Woods is revolutionary to the sport because everyone's like, "Oh, what what sport's that? Oh, that's the one where the uh, the the black Chinese fellow had fourteen people." Yeah, yeah. Fruit with blood? I know, again, see, this is why Tiny Tina is my favorite. She's just random, which is awesome. Oh, dude, I just remembered something because these gun zerkers. I, I. Oh, man, it's so funny. You, you, you'll just have to wait till we get to the mines. But right now, we're just going to collect some blood fruit, just show you where it is because I'm bored and. When I was actually playing this, I was just like, eee, I don't know, and I don't want to use this gun. God damn it, this cat. Go downstairs and go see, like, your Shaky's girlfriend. Yes, go follow the laser pointer and go downstairs. I think he has been more than nine lives. I th- yeah, I think we killed him 18 already. Just tonight. I think he eats the souls of cats. Maybe. He, he just has no soul. True. Is he Ginger Cat? Uh, there's go there, but he is not. Everyone's went there after South Park did it. <laughs> you know there's Kick of Ginger Day, right? 
I'm sorry, like, if I, if I have a ginger kid, it, like, again, I have dark hair, like, that's probably not gonna happen, but if I do, I'll just be like, you kind of, like, fucked up in life, buddy. <laughs> you kind of fucked it up. God fucking damn it, you cat. I keep trying to get you away, but you keep coming back. I don't know if the people can hear that. This mic can pick up a lot. I'm gonna leave that in there. You know what? I'm gonna leave all this in here. Just just so fucking people can see us like talking about me trying to get you into this, because this is the second video you've done. Even though I might have already been making this this into parts, but this is the second video that we've done commentary on. The first time we did it in your office, and that was hell, because I had to change up all the audio frequency, and fucking damn it, cat. You know what? Listen, you guys, listen to this cat. If you can hear it. This thing keeps following the laser pointer, but it doesn't get... Oh, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm making it run around the leg. Dude, I'm making it run around the leg of the table. This is... Dude, look at it, look at it. <laughs> Whoa, you can take a blood fruit through on the tree, Ant. So I thought the uh, strip show was bad uh, where we live, but... The strip show? Which strip show? The strip club. Oh, you mean the top hat? Bad. You betcha. But I went somewhere worse this last week. In, in this city? No, Fort McMurray. And they have Again, so people, there. Uh, you'll probably think like, so is that just Canada? Like that you Strip went to? Clubs are bad in Canada, I think. Well, yeah, because like instead of like taking off their clothes, they put them on. Yeah, we live in fucking igloos. But, no, but no seriously, it was bad. Check this out. Holy <laughs> shit! From the muscles, it looks like a guy. That is disgusting. He showed me a poster. That that's wrong, man. That's wrong. Yeah. But to be honest. You guys in the States, your strip clubs suck. We get to see some fine cat. Kitty, get the fuck away from me right now. Yeah, so I was trying to make a play on words with the word cat and pussy. But this but your cat shaky is fucking pissing me off. Cause one, my mom's allergic, so kind of I turn into an asshole to cats. Where I'm like as a kid I was like, oh look at the little kitty, but now I'm just like, I can't get my mom sick or have allergies, so fuck off cat. I, I just feel like a dick to cat, and plus one, maybe it's because my dad, where he's like, we have a pelican now, and he's just like, fuck, if I see a cat, I'll shoot it. That's a real good animal. But to be honest, he goes out, he's like now an old man. He goes outside with the pellet gun, sits in a fucking lawn chair, and kills crows. That's sadistic. He's turned to an old man. He's trying to hide the fact that he's got gray hairs now. Yeah, so we got the blood for it now, so we can return to the gatekeeper. Weird how that the thing that I just smeared on said D. Yeah, so I don't know why it has the pointers there still. Fucking cat. I wish you had a screen door, then I would have it run into the screen door. Uh, yeah, he'd probably do that. He climbed the screen the other day all the way to the top. So yeah, just to give a little backstory and shaky uh, that doesn't reveal who he is or personal backstory, but he's a uh, he did a lot of organization for parties and stuff like that. And who did you get? Uh, oh no! Oh, he, he's not a DJ. He's an entertainer. He's an entertainer. Even though he uses fucking DJ style shit in his vinyl mm -hmm. records, because he's a fucking asshole like that. <laughs> he's gonna be a damn ass wicked. We've got our headliner for the next party in plan. He's coming from one of the biggest electronic music festivals in Canada. Again, ca Canada's not just a place, it's a fucking country. It is a country. Really, I'm making fun of you, the people who are idiots. Because you Americans might be like, that's mean, but you're like, fuck, I know a guy who's that fucking dumb. <laughs> so to be honest, you can't be hating so much at me hating on you guys for not being smart, because... You, you know guys who aren't that smart. So, to be honest, you know it. You know there's people dumb. I had a coworker who was on vacation in Mexico, and he tried getting these American guys he met to add him on Xbox Live, and they were surprised he had an Xbox. He was like, oh, yeah, dude, I just run the power in through the side of my igloo. And they actually believed it. 
I think he's referring to me, and that's like the second time ever I've introduced my name. But yeah, <laughs> I, f- I forget the first time I did it. But shh, don't remember. I'm doing the Jedi mind tricks. That's not the name you should be remembering. No, it wasn't you. I think this game. I think Borderlands 2's actually done a Star Wars reference or a parody. Yeah, a lot of games like doing parodies because think think of this uh, the guy who's designing this game might just be like fucking damn it, it's getting so boring. Looking around the office, fucking Easter egg. It's like um, it's like the hugest thing with Disney. Just, they just like fucking drawing dicks or fucking doing the or writing sex in the animation scenes. It's like what? How are you supposed to keep entertained when you're doing a drawing a kids cartoon? Like Little Mermaid, the old school one. The guys, like fuck this title, like or this poster or, or movie cover sucks. Look around. Like fucking penis. Fucking penis right in the castle. Ah, uh, looking around, I think might be the wrong word. I kind of hope no one at Disney had their pants down, but uh, you never know. Or it's like when well, uh, if you type in in YouTube, you can find all the raunchy stuff. Like in like Lion King or whatever, there was this one part where. Uh, Simba's looking up. It's when he sees his dead dad or whatever. In the in the clouds, it says sex. I just remembered. To be honest, sex is good. Here. We yeah, the the four main characters in the last game were Mordecai, uh, Brick, and Lilith and Roland. Now, spoiler, which I don't know why anyone like how to spoil anyone. Because they should have already watched the actual Borderlands or played it, but Roland is dead. Tina knows this, but she's in denial right now. And the other three characters that are still alive are like, Don't you fucking get it, he's dead. We're pissed off that you're mentioning he's alive, because he's fucking dead. And we still haven't dealt with the hurt of him being dead. So yeah, she's kind of being a dickish about it, but it's funny. Um, But yeah, just... Spending that long of time working on something, you probably get bored. Like, if I was working on Disney, yeah, I would have drawn dicks and fucking uh, other stuff and j- just to see what people would do. It's like, um, yeah, the T. Good I mean, why don't you do, like, super bad and just make the entire movie about drawing dicks? True. Um, but it's like. <clears throat> cartoon shows and all that stuff. They have all those sexual innuendo jokes or innuendo jokes in, in sale. Like, you know, Animaniacs. They actually had some bad ones. Like, I mean some bad into one. But how they did that without getting in trouble... By the way, if you see this immortal skeleton, how to kill this fucking prick is once he goes down, you take out that fucking sword. I never realized this, and I let these guys be a fucking pain in my ass for, like, ever in this game until I realized it when I was in the dungeon. See, look, he's coming back alive. But how they did it was they had... Not just one innuendo joke in the cartoon, they had two, but the one was worse. It's not the one that they wanted put in, but it was so that the censorship guys were like, get rid of that fucking shit right now. They're like, okay. They're like, you haven't found the other one. (laughs) (laughs) Like, there was one where just like, dude, we're looking for fingerprints, and the little girl has prints, the musician, and he's like, no, no, fingerprints. And and then the little girl looks at prints and is like, nah, I'm not going to do that. That was in the uh, children's cartoon. That's so bad. But yet they must have had a worse. You fucking cat just clawed my fucking foot. You son of a bitch. You go run. I just love that it, I know it's a parody but I just love the fact that they have the black character be the white knight and secondly in medieval time to be honest mm, he, he'd be screwed as a black man in medieval time just saying you got you viewers think that's racist just wait the racism happens in the minds
Yeah, so I didn't realize there was a third dragon. I kept looking around. I didn't see a blimp on my radar. So I was just chilling. God damn it, the cat's like coming back faster than ever. I just send the cat off and just like fucking back. It's like, woo, back over here. No, go away. Back over here. If he fucking knocks it off, this entire thing's gone. You fought well, bro. I'll be honored as hell to join your quest. Roland doesn't talk like that. He does when I'm voicing him, bro. Yes, for shizzle. Now let's go. Now I find it slightly racist that a white girl is making a black guy talk saying for shizzle. I was in that blip with in all that. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, that's you understand what's happened, right? So who's this queen anyway? What are we looking for? She's the most beautifulest woman in the history of the She's got legs for days. <laughs> wow. That was unhelpful. Tina? Tina! Sorry. Just thinking about them legs. <laughs> Again. Another reason why I like Tina is she just like it's just fucking random and just like it, it's just funny. She's like, "Shorty, you the best. You the best." I'm just like, "Fuck, awesome." Fuck, damn it! I need to get like a. It's getting annoying. It's like if the cat could purr into this mic, you just be like, mm, and I'm like, "Fuck off, mm, fuck off." Mm. Now I can't use the laser pointer to get the cat away because you're holding him. What happens if, if you're holding him and I do the laser thing right now? Nope, he likes the laser pointer better. Yeah, so unfortunately when I was in my, uh, or the shop menu, these guys got a good far run ahead of me. Which is just like, shit. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the game, because we're just literally sitting here fucking around with Shaky's cat, and like, talking right now, without alcohol, which please donate. <laughs> We probably even forget if you guys donated it, but we say thanks before we pounded it back hardcore. That depends how much they send. True. What, what's the Pentagon one? Or not Pentagon? Yeah, it's a Pentagon. Uh, the box. Or is it an octagon? You know it's an octagon. Like, isn't that 56? Uh, not sure. Yeah, when I was playing this and I heard that, I was like, guy's the villain. But fuck it, we need to progress in the story. You don't do good magic spells with blood fruit. That does not sound good. Now, if you weren't already sold or didn't think it, just... God damn your fucking cat. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, I didn't play three hours ago, so we fucked up the story already. <laughs> I, I, again, the whole logic where it's like, that makes no sense. No plot twist! Again, I still haven't realized. Uh, at this point, I didn't realize to kill those fucking immortal skeletons. Did you take off that fucking, fucking ass sword? It's like thinking of your cat. My cat or my dog is like a fucking cat. Like she just lounges all day. It's actually just like really bad at how lazy she is. This guy's definitely not lazy. 
Yeah. Because one, I made him run around like 50 times with the fucking laser pointer, which he keeps coming back to me. Now, I don't know if these kings have some sort of, um... Parody reference or Easter egg reference, but I don't give a shit. I'm just advancing this game. I'm talking to Roland. As a representative of the Queen's Imperial Guard, I, Roland W. Anyway, if you're looking for the Queen, the Sorcerer's got her. need to come. Mines? Dude, we haven't ever talked about those yet, have we? No, we have not. You know I'm being sarcastic, of course. I've mentioned it, like, multiple times. Oh man, I just remember there's a terrible, terrible part in the game. I hate it when it happens. It's in the mines. It fucking pissed me off when I was playing. I was just like, fuck. I, I, no, it was, it was that voice. He was like, fuck. That was almost a bit sensual right there. I was just going to say, I think we had a moment. I had a moment with all my viewers right there. But when you were playing the game, that must have just been a complete moment with yourself. Oh, you have no idea how insane like I can get when I'm doing these recordings. It's a good thing that you're doing it right now with me, because I get so random. Like, it is crazy. I don't know how I, I just get snapped back into sanity. Like, I was teaching my kids today. This was after I had two caffeine pills and, like, si seven cups of coffee. And I pounded back, actually, another mug of coffee. I was wired. I was just like, Keith, let's do a frick flare. No, I, uh, they were laughing their asses off. For but those of you who don't know, Rookie Dude, he does teach swimming lessons. So he was and I'm a firefighter, swimming. and I do this my part time. So, holy shit, how am I able to get these videos up with all my shit going on? You know what? I'm just going to put this entire video up. Just like, fuck it. Edit certain parts. But really, I'm just going to put all of this up. So, the entire two hours, just to. Actually, fucking. Ah. I might just do the parts because it gets more views. But that's one reason why I started this channel. I fucking hated the bigger channels where they were like, let's do a 10 minute video even though it's a 20 minute game. I'm like, fuck you. I want to watch it, but I don't want to wait like three weeks for you to put up the next episode. It was, um, one, watching the Rad Brats, like, yeah, I like your videos, they're funny, but yet you go slow. And plus, you, well, it was during The Walking Dead, he just took so fucking long, he was just like, what am I supposed to do? Your objective is go talk to this person. I'm gonna do that 50 minutes from now. It's like, what the fuck? We don't need, to, like, he's just like, you're so slow, and then I was watching Titch Ninja, uh, he puts his videos up like he's on crack. Like, he can put some, like, seven videos up in a single day. I'm like, I like how fast you are, but yet you're doing so much random bullshit. Because he's a completionist, even though he really doesn't complete a game, really. He, he was just so slow. He was just like, I want to watch the main story. Play the fucking main story. So I made this channel just because, one, I wanted a person who actually was good at the game. Because I dislike when they're not good. Like, when Tetra Ninja is playing Dead Island, Riptide... He fucking got bit. Because what you do is you do le right, left, trigger, whatever, and then right trigger to get them off. That's the simplest thing. It's like left trigger, right trigger. He couldn't do that. I'm like, dude, you have to be at least good. I'm like, dude, you lost all respect. Like, you're just a terrible gamer. But really, I wanted to produce a channel where it was just like, I enjoy the games. I'm going to give you the best, like, so... I'm gonna give you good gameplay and I'm gonna try to make it as entertaining as possible and uh, somehow my entertaining has become insane <laughs> just like my teaching of swimming lessons I've just gotten fucking nuts like my the kids like are just crazy like I actually have to like I make them it, it's like I'm sugar and they get so hyper that sounds bad doesn't it <laughs> it does 
Hall of Emancipation. So there's King Ragnar. You're just gonna stare at me? Or you're gonna say something? Quit it! Nope. You came to the wrong mind, Big Stone. Who's gonna lead us to the wrong mind? Yeah. Yeah, we could. I just like how that turned out. Where it's just like, you know what? This whole problem could have been resolved if we made an alliance with the dwarves. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's punch the king dwarf in the face and murder him. I love how the random this game is. Killing me here, Brick. I'm getting taunted by a 13 year old girl doing the voice of a grown man. I told you guys we should have waited. Okay. The harder you are, the highest pull. leadership skill. But this game is pretty fun, though. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot the wizard. You shall not pass. Yeah, another Lord of the Rings reference. <laughs> oh, the but fuck. Maybe you can help us out of here. I said you talk to him. With words. I love that the quest says with words. The band of adventurers looking to take down the sorcerer. Look, you won't make it. You'll either die or be enslaved. And I can't, good conscience, let you continue in your full hearted quest. You shall not. Lord of the Rings. Also looks like that hat from Harry Potter that he's wearing. Oh, the sorting hat? Yep. Eh, no, it still is kind of Gandalf the gray hat. Uh, that was before he turned to Gra Gandalf the white. That was before he was Gandalf the gray, then Gandalf the nude, then Gandalf the white. Yes, I read the books. He gets naked. He thought your voice was sensual. The exit is locked. Oh, yeah. By dwarven door locking method. Well, damn! Now how do we get out of here? You know, that wizard may know something about... Now, this is where I hated it. The fucking wizard's already running off. I'm like, fucking damn it! I'm like, I could have easily just backtracked and caught him before it. And now I'm like, I gotta chase this fucking prick. <laughs> just like we had to just ta uh, chase after the tavern douchebag. Yeah, but at least he's leading us to our next objective, but shit. This is so annoying how, like... It's a good thing you have a limited sprint. This game would be hell without it. It's big. It's a big game. Let me open the way for you. Yield and open. It says ask wizard about magic door, but I'm just gonna keep walking forward. Cause I, I hate how the objective says that, but yet he didn't want to talk to us until now. Hey, he sounds like a raptor. Yeah, uh, Claptrap? He's actually really fucking funny. I absolutely like him. Like, in the actual game, um, right in the beginning of the game, he, he's not, he can't climb stairs. So you gotta help him up. That little joke traveled all the way to the end of the game, because Claptrap opened this door and he's like, I'm gonna fucking kill this badass guy, or whatever. He's like, fucking stairs! No! It was like, fuck, that's hilarious. Like, did that one joke last like 30 hours of gameplay? Just to be used for that payoff, which actually was a good payoff. Yeah. So just gotta kill. Oh, you see, there's badass. There's another drink. Yeah, how many times? I think that's like maybe seven now. That's weird. I thought there's more badass. Oh, maybe it's because when I'm playing on normal instead of anything higher, so there w would be more references to that. Ah, oh, shit. I fucking hate it when they mislead you like that. Ah. <sighs> 
the best DLC for the last game was Mad Moxie's Underdome. Because it gave uh, the characters the bank. So it's like you have these awesome weapons just like, but I, I don't have enough room. I have to sell the weapon or drop it. But then they add the bank, it's like, <sighs> you have so much room. Uh, and then this game, they just straight up gave you the bank. They just said, you know what, you guys loved it in the last game, you got it again. Oh, nice. Yep. Thanks, honey. It's like you've seen a couple times it says dwarfs, or there's another badass. Um, take a drink. Um, that they're called Dwarf Zerker. That joke will pay off because one of the characters, and now I'm not playing as him, but there's a character like him, and who does the thing? He's a gun zerker. So dwarf zerker, gun zerker. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. They look just like him. Oh, it's so funny. The joke will pan out. Because right now, remember in the beginning of the game, the old characters from Borderlands are playing with Tiny Tina and uh, badass or bunkers and badasses. Oh, I fucking hate this. So, yeah, and the new characters are actually downstairs interrogating a Hyperion uh, person about the keys to the moon base, which I think will, if they do one last DLC, it's going to be in the fucking Hyperion moon base. I fucking hated this so fucking much. Like, it's a fucking jumping puzzle. I'm like, fuck. And then, like, look at this, look at this. Okay, uh, I'm right there, so... The fuck? Okay, okay. Do I gotta jump to get it? I gotta jump to fucking get it? Fucking kitty. Okay, so I'm like, uh, the fuck's going on? Um, am I missing something? Am I too fat? Like, is this why the rock's going too low? And I'm just like, fuck it, I'll, I'll try. I'll, I'll have to do jump down, and I'm like, fuck. And then I fall down, I'm like, fuck! Tina, I'm pretty sure this jump is impossible. Fine. That will make it doable. Then I see this, and I'm like, fuck. This goes on for five minutes. Oh, wow. I'm not joking. It was painful. But at least here, whenever I died, I respawned right w before I jumped, and I didn't owe 300 grand. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you, to be honest, I don't know if it works, but just jump in the lava five times, and you, the thing will progress. But right now, you get to see how much I failed at this. Oh, fucking cat scared the shit out of me. Fucking, no, go follow me. Shit. Fucking cat. Just jumped up and scared the fucking shit out of me. Oh. Holy fuck. Slenderman's got nothing on that gear cat. Oh, hells yeah, we're having a drink. No, fucking cat, you scared the shit out of me. You're running. You're running for the next half hour. Dude, we can drink it straight. Oh, no, it's the fucking Jack. No, it's the Jack Dent. No. Dude, that stuff is so rough. Dude, just give me, give me it with water. Shit. Drinking that stuff will make me sick, and I have to work tomorrow. Dude, that shit's gonna be rough. Oh man, that dude, just give me that single shot, like no, no more. I'm gonna be fucked after that. I wanna feel like I'm, I wanna die. Ah oh, man, I I hated this one rock that I jumped on. I think I'm on it now maybe it's because you're fat ass character but you just fall and that was a stupid ass jump and now by this point in the game they actually give you a fucking bridge to go to get that rune fuck Hmm? Eat more, please. That's just gonna be rough. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. Like, dude, you just you might have actually kicked my ass tonight. 
Oh, fuck. We're drinking Jack Daniels and water because we got no mix. Are you just drinking pure Jack? Yeah. Fuck, man. Why not? Do you work tomorrow? Mm. What time? Yeah, I know, Freelily. Same. I gotta wake up early, though, and I gotta teach fucking swimming lessons to kids. Fuck, damn it. So, really, that... Like, that's just terrible, because, one, I can't be too hungover, because... Kids, I just need a... Luke. Seen you do that a few times. Oh, fuck, that's bad. Oh, that is... That is rough. Oh. Oh, this is why I don't drink Jack Daniels. I got goosebumps, and these aren't from Slenderman. Or your fucking kitty. Oh. Yeah, that's why you hang out with me. You end up covered in goosebumps. Oh, yeah! You hear that echo in the game right now? That's because of uh, my slight bad uh, editing job. I had a. Like, I did. That's halfway. You can keep it in. Oh, I thought you took it out. Yeah, so it's you can kind of see a fade. Um, I'm just trying to figure out do I need to push it forward or back? I think I need to push it back. Yeah, just dealing with some mid editing problems. I think I that sounds good. That so that sounds good, huh? Dude, we can punch through. I can, at least. My caffeine bills will be running out by this point, so I've, right when I get to bed, I'm going to fall asleep. Oh, that is... Oh, don't drink... Don't do a drinking game with Jack Daniels, guys. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's fucking bad. Okay, just trying to figure out this fucking editing problem. Standing before you is a dwarven puzzle. To get past it, you gotta think real hard. To the max! That thing looks like it does something to the other thing, and. Yeah, yeah I got it. Yeah, it's a. And it was an annoying puzzle to do, but to be honest, it would just turn everything once. Oh, there you go. That, that was That's it. Yeah, I know. I, I, th I was thinking, like, shit, am I going to have to go on fucking YouTube to figure this shit out? Like, I, I thought it was going to be hell. Got a decent lightning storm going on outside. Right oh, yeah, it was... Uh, outside oh, yeah, I see that. As a lifeguard, you hope for lightning. Okay, I think I maybe got the editing under wraps. Nope. Uh, I need to wait for some audio. Fuck yeah, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to... We're trying to do audio. And we're trying to fucking watch this video while I'm doing with this shit. Oh, you fucking cat. He's just chilling. <sighs> fucking chill maybe a bit too much. No, he's... Slow down a bit. Mm. 
Okay, there, I think I deal dealt with it. Okay, we're good, and I'm drinking your nasty Jack Daniels mix right now. How much do you have left? Like, about 60 shots in that thing? Oh, I have no idea. Yo, we got you a damn-ass Jack Daniels Texas Mickey. We all took a shot for your birthday. We all regretted it instantly. I Fucking did. cat, you scared the shit out of me again. <laughs> Just leave me. He was chilling. Yeah, he was clawing into my fucking leg. <laughs> kids, or my kids last. How'd you get those scratches? I'm not gonna lie to you, kids. I was drinking Jack. I was drinking Jack Daniels, and this kitten just fucking ripped apart my leg. No, you had sex last night. Why the fuck do you know that? You getting late today? Fuck no. I gotta work tomorrow. If there's anything sexual, be be a BJ. That's the only thing I could offer. Offer. Okay, I should receive. Oh, fucking kitty! You're fucking. Ow! For fuck, oh, that hurts. Felix, right? Yeah. He's fucking pissing me off. Fritz is becoming awesome. Felix becoming an asshole. I still say that was a terrible cartoon. Hey, that was a stellar cartoon. It, it was like fucking Sonic the Hedgehog and Mickey Mouse had a gay baby. Because one. Felix the cat. Because they're the wonderful, both male. wonderful cat. I only I saw the cartoon show. I don't remember it. That that's good. But I saw the movie. Oh, it was bad. Run to the box, Kitty. Run to the box. Mention pull box. Yeah, you're running around the box for the rest of the night, you fucking cat. This is the point if I had my new co if we were at my new computer. I would have like been putting up this video while our video was going up, like I put in the corner. Just the fucking cat running around like you fucking asshole. This boss is fucking fun. Like I absolutely enjoyed it, but since I was level fifty, it was like kind of a buzzkill. Actually, trying to get into gaming a little bit. Yeah, now that you got a PS3. I got Fallout New Vegas today, so we'll see how far I do. We should definitely do some recording on that. If we can. Oh, that's rough. So I could free Gree to Teeth Tooth from his curse, which I just did. Not too difficult. Wait for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Punch him. But yeah, Fallout New Vegas is fucking awesome. I haven't beaten it though yet, because when it gets to the point where you have to pick either the Legion, the NCR, uh, or house or go independent i just saved there and i didn't go any further because i didn't want to piss any of them off never actually played it not saying i actually will or how far i'll get but i'll get you to play it you remember sarah all the way back yeah she i do sit there i do all the time so i saw a little bit of it. dude I'm, i put i put like 200 hours in that game did you just say laser butts i'm not joking one because the dlc is a new fucking cat but it's like that that doesn't even trump my pokemon Pokemon, I, I have put over 500 hours. I think that was like 42 days. The letters. You have A-R-F-T. What can you spell with that? Think of a 13-year-old's mind. Yeah. An A-A? No. That's what that looked like there. Not Mordecai figures it out. No, it looked like the AA logo. Oh, God. I just figured it out. So say it. I'm Art. <laughs> guys, guys! Did somebody say fart? What a stinky thing to say! <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, now it's become an inside joke of Claptrap ruins everything. That keeps going. Uh, but yeah, um, because I was thinking with the Hapog, it could work. Hopefully we can try it though, and I'll also try it at home. Uh, then I can bring the Hapog, the cords, and then we can record and play here. Maybe. And of course we can get seriously hammered. It'd be a weekly video thing, which won that game again. I played it for 200 hours. A weekly thing of a 50 minute video? We'd be going for a year on that thing. We spend the entire year crunch. Okay. Once a, once a weekend? Yeah, we could easily fucking do that. The longer we get. Like, we could have an entire party. Everyone's like, I wanna fucking play! We're like, Can I have a That's not what you do at a party. Oh, the next morning, uh, I'm, 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 oh, dude, now that even be better. We could actually get drunk in the game, like, dude, we fucked up. We fucked up. Nobody wants to hear me drunk. Everyone wants to hear me drunk. I did, I did a Tomb Raider episode drunk, and your fucking cat is. He's just chilling. I, I, I really want to kill those nine lives out of your cat with the, my laser pointer right now, man. You already killed the twenty by now. I think you just didn't win. That's fucking rough, man. That drink. Oh, shit. Oh. The more you drink, the easier it goes down. Of course, because you don't care. Oh, man, your Jack Daniels is rough. Jack Daniels is Jack Daniels. The, I, I think we might finish that. Or, actually, I think if we do do a Fallout series, we'd finish the Fallout series before we finish that bottle. That Texas Mickey of it? Shit, man, that stuff is rough. People are already taking bets that they'll be gone by September. I doubt it. I doubt it. Oh. I gotta work tomorrow. Fuck. This is bad. You don't have to finish it. The ice cube's still in there. I'm gonna fucking finish it. I have no idea what this here is for. I don't know why there's a lever in your cat just clawed me. Like, fuck that hurt. Kitty, you're going for a run. Fuck your cat's got its leg fucking caught. It's gonna pull it's gonna pull her ear, it's gonna pull her ear. Damn it, you're fuck no no, get the fucking mic get the headphone out of here. You're running, you're running, you're running. You're running. Your cat will be physically fit, though. He is physically fit. Well, especially after me making him run like 30 minutes. For, you know, yeah, that's an average day for him. That was high. That was like about like a foot. If I didn't work tomorrow, we would really get drunk and we'd go get Subway. That's bad. Oh. Well, you can just sip on it and enjoy it. No, oh, but you can't enjoy Jack Daniels. You need to hammer it back a shot. That's the only way you can drink it. I don't know who like man it's, it's rough. So for those of you not here, we're sitting underneath. A, how big would you say that poster is? Oh fuck. Um, two and a half meters. Two and a half meter yeah, long we, Jack we, Daniel poster. We, 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 we do you fucking metric here. We're not fucking imperial. I'm drinking out of Jack Daniel's glass. I'm <sighs> drinking Jack Daniel's. This is a pro Jack Daniel drinker out. I have no idea who this guy is, but I'm assuming he's some sort of mission based thing. Fuck it, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm going to just try to find where this mission is supposed to go, which I'm thinking it goes to that staircase I'm looking at right now over the yonder. So I got to go kill these guys. I think next week we should teach that cat how to skateboard. Yeah, that would actually be fun. 
Uh, but yeah, we'd have to use like the laser pointer or something like have the laser pointer just come out of the skateboard. Roller skates might be easy. Yeah, throw a fucking stick in front of the <laughs> He found it hysterical. Oh, I made the kid the smelly kid in the class. But to be honest, all the, like a majority of those guys are in fucking grown ups too. Like, to be honest, Adam Sandler's movies are just him and his buddies just fucking around doing their kind of comedy. I went to grown up, grown ups too with my parents. They were pissing themselves laughing. I was like, it's good. It's not funny. It's good. Oh, well, I'm sure your parents found it funny. Yeah, there is. Sure. Uh, I just didn't quite like it. It's like, uh, back when Austin Powers and Goldmember came out. This was like, what? I don't even know how long ago, but I would think I was like, my parents said I was like six and seven, or maybe uh, my, me and my brother were seven and nine. But we saw that with our parents, and that thing was at 14A. That that was back then when the rating system was actually ac accurate. My dad was pissing himself laughing, just like the, oh, 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 chuckling the entire time. My mom was sitting on the other side of me and my brother, just look, yeah, that was a weird thing that was in the chest, but yeah, um, was sitting on the outside of us, like trying to like make sure no one recognized or no one saw that she, me or her and my dad had brought two little kids to see this raunchy movie. Oh man, that was funny. You got cool parents. I do. They don't care if I get drunk and call. It's like hell. They would. No, they. I don't think they get that pissed. If I were to get really drunk tonight and call them, I don't think they'd care. It's summer. They're teachers. They get summer off. I don't. I'm a teacher of swimming. <laughs> no, but they get the day off. It's summer. But yeah, with this game now, uh, in this area, when you try to go to loot, uh, loot chest, now there's like that loot monster. Not that big of a deal if you're level 50 playing this game. I really just want to play as Axon, who's level 50 in this, because when I did uh, Hunter's, um, uh, so it was fucking, um, Sir Hammerlock campaign where it was just a hunter, uh, hunter one, where you kill things. I did that on 50 on True Vault Hunter mode. I got my ass fucking raped. It was bad at how much I died. It was bad. Like it was just sickly terrible. I was like swearing I had to edit out all my deaths so there's only one. I died that many times that I could do that. But oh, it was, it was terrible. It was difficult as hell. Okay, I'm just making sure the thing's fucking recording. It is, and I'd be like, oh, oh, oh. Now you catch him with my backpack. Yeah, if I, if I pull this up, let me just see. That's where we're at. We still got a while. We've already made it this far. We can we can keep we can keep pushing through. Nope, you're not sitting on my lap, and I hope you don't have any cords on you, because you're going for a run. That kind of hurt. That, that, that cat got claws. This is where this gun comes in handy, because I really am just going to not care at where I aim. I'm just going to unload. This one has terrible accuracy, because it's an infinite gun, and what it does, it fires in the infinity symbol. See, look. It's going back and forth. The accuracy is terrible because it's in the middle, but you know where it's going to aim if you keep it dead center. It's like a clock's right twice a day. Or a broken clock is right twice a day. Just like with this gun, it's in the center twice a time. Imagine if your cat had, the, had, had mad hops. You can jump up to that side picture. Hey, stand in Have you seen Gentleman by Psy? Oh yeah. What do you think of it? It's it, it's no Gundam style, but to be honest, there was so much hype after Gundam style for him to do something like that big or bigger. I think it should have been that bigger, bigger. 
I thought it was really well done. It it wasn't it was preferred gentleman to it, it, it was yeah it wasn't as well see, yeah some people didn't like it because they're like oh it's not as good as Gundam style and two it was kind of like a rehash of Gundam style. I'm like dude he made a fucking awesome video like that caught on so fucking well got like eight billion views now it's at probably ten but just like you really can't do better than that it's you're kind of at your point. No, I don't think so. I think you can keep going for a while. I, I don't care if it's not good. To be honest, it's still gonna be great. It's it's not gonna be as like popular as Gundam Saw, but that his gentleman, I fucking loved it. Oh yeah. It's, it's no Gundam Saw where I'm actually trying to do the fucking thing because all he does is this. That's easier though. Maybe oh, true. More people out to the clubs because they know they can dance now. And the, I do like Korean pop though. I really do because it just has that one. It usually has a sentence that's just English. Not necessarily Korean, but Asian pop. I've been listening to that for years. That's kind of Korean pop. Well, same sound. I just love how fast I, I kill that thing. Because this is a TDOR gun. It's kind of like the Walmart of guns, where it's like... I shoot a bit, and then it's so cheap you throw it to reload. So I just fired a few shots, hucked it, and he instantly killed it. But yeah, um, wow, I'm getting so random right now. Maybe it's because the jack. Um, but yeah, I was sign Gundam style. Where was it going with this? I really forget. Where's your kitty? You're. I'm, we're gonna have to mark it how high your cat's getting. Not. High. But uh, uh, lengthwise high on the wall. Hey, get, this is where we get the tally voice. <clears throat> Wanna get high? Sorry, was that a bit too loud? A little bit. Try toning it down a little bit. But and, and sounds sadder. But Tao Tao Lee off South Park oh, does that. Wanna get high? Oh man, voice is cracked yeah. there. <clears throat> Go with a little lower pitch, not much, just a little bit, and try to sound a little sadder <laughs> and a little more meth though. Want to get high? That's better. He, yeah, he, he does the high part of the end. This part's pretty funny. You drop into the moldy dungeon, embarrassed at how easily the sorcerer lured you into his trap. Now we're fucked. Good luck escaping my dungeon, Shagasses. <laughs> it's been real. So, how do we get back to town? You can't. You trapped, son. <laughs> Well, That's the end, guys. Well, let's keep going. Oh, good point. So oh shoot, we're actually still going? Help. Sounds like a prisoner or something. Maybe she'll know a way out of here. Well, let's go find her then. I do like this game and its use of jokes. It isn't um, quick jokes, it does the long paced jokes. Where it's, yeah, what they do in the beginning is funny, and then they use that again. It's like, fuck, man, that's good. It's like with the claptrap in the stairs thing. It was a long payoff, but yet it pulled through. Tina, back there, you can't just force us to fall into a trap. We need a chance to escape it or something. Nope, so I'm not going to do this mission. Cause yeah, I'm just doing say. the main mission, so fuck it. Literally I'll do these on my own time. Six people have beaten info out of a Hyperion spy, and you're talking about rules? Seriously? Again, when I first did Borderlands 2, it was fucking 80 parts. Hey, hello, 15 like or higher long, 80 parts. That took a. That was fucking annoying oh, how long it was. It was bad. Like how long it was. God damn it, you fucking cat. I got some for everybody. To be honest, if I get as big as a couple of the other guys, they have uh, shirts and some of that. One of the guys' shirts, he like the guy likes bananas for some reason. There's some pictures of him with bananas. It's weird. I was there. Is your girlfriend asking how long it's gonna be? 
Uh, but yeah, if I get a shirt or ever made and people like doing fan art, it's gonna be me hating on your fucking cat. Like me with a fucking like, yeah. This might be a running thing. <laughs> <laughs> just a fucking running slid. thing, just, literally. Just fucking fan, like slid on the newspapers, but yeah, <laughs> that 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 was good. Yeah. Mecha high, mecha, you are gonna die. I fucking love that when I was actually playing that. But yeah, like if they do uh, fan art. It's gonna be me with a fucking laser pointer and a game controller, fucking messing with your cat. Save me. Then can we put on the back on the very bottom of the shirt, occasionally featuring Shaky? <laughs> Dude, I want to have you more on this. Most people probably didn't see the Resident Evil one because, damn, that game was so fucking bad after the Leon campaign. It went, it, it was fucking terrible after that. Yeah, Resident Evil. What's Resident Evil known for? You have you heard of it? Think of the movies and the game and all that stuff. What do you think of Resident Evil? What 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 what's featured in Resident Evil? Zombie. Fuck that, not in this game. After Leon, nope, no more zombies. It's just like, you fucking assholes. I wanted the zombies. You you lured us into the Leon campaign with fucking awesome zombies. Then you gave us the jack off shit of your own personal desire. It, it was terrible. One bogey. Then what they did is they this came out last year on the 3DS, the DS, you know? Resident Evil Re Re Relevations. Revelations. Revelations. What they did is this, they rehashed it and put it on the consoles. And people were like, I'm gonna play this. And I'm like, dude, you could have watched this last year on the 3DS. Which I did. I watched the entire movie of it. It was a good game. It was long and annoying, but it was a good game. What's that new game? I can't remember. Someone was trying to say it. Talk about it. It wasn't a walk to remember. Something else. A what? A walk to remember. Last no, of Us? Last of Us? Yeah, the Last of Us. It's on the PlayStation 3? I've heard great things about it, but since I'm not a PlayStation 3... Yeah, th this is where I find out about those immortal fucks. Right here. Because he falls down, I'm like... Okay, why is he still have a red thing around him? I'm like... No, you fucking prick. I haven't realized that for so long. Uh, but yeah, I've heard great things from it. But again, I'm not a PlayStation 3 guy, so I never got into it. Even though it just recently came out. So unfortunately, I didn't fucking play it. I would recommend it if you just... Because you want to be a gamer. Or you're trying, or you're trying to get into games. I'm trying to be a gamer. You're, you're, trying, you're trying to get into games. It's like recently I was bored. I was on YouTube. And I was like, I forgot about this movie. Drag Me to Hell? Or Drag Me... Oh, I've, have you I seen, I've seen that. I was I was bored and I was watching on the Fine Brothers. They're talking about 100 spoilers and like in five minutes of horror movies. And they're like, "Yeah, fucking bitch still gets right to hell." Which I'm like, "That's fucking awesome." Where it's like, no, it's not a good story where you outsmart the devil and the demons and human pack. No, you still get fucked. That was a depressing movie. Well, I watched it because I just want to see the ending of it. Fuck, I love that fucking part. You kitty son of a bitch. Fucking don't do that. Fucking cat just jumped to me. You're running. A, you're running 20 laps right now. Right now. One. No, run around. I'll, I'll run the box. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay. Uh. <laughs> nine. Ten. Eleven. I think in the edge of the 13, uh, fucking cheater! 14, 15, come on, come on, come on, 17, I know I skipped 16, but what are 17, 18, 19, 20, okay, around 20 laps. I think in the description for this video, though, we need to put featuring Shaky and Felix the Cat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, even though, isn't, yeah, that's Felix, not for us, that's Felix. Um, what was I talking about before your cat fucking scared me and I made to run 20 laps? We were talking about, um, Drag Me to Hell. Oh yeah, I, I looked, watched the ending of that. I fucking liked it. Right then, I'm, I might get my mom to watch it because she hates scary shit. 
just because of the end when she's actually getting dragged down to hell. Yeah, spoiler. Because this is spoiler cast right now. But when she's getting dragged down to hell, her face just turns so fucking demonic. Like her lips get removed, her teeth like just get ugly and split. Okay, what's worse? Something where something like that happens? Or I know what you did last summer where they resolve the problem and then in like the very end you see... I actually want it where the... This, this like is the why horror I, continues. I know it. Nah. Like, <laughs> hey, I like it when the main character dies and stuff like that. That's why I like games where it's just like you're hoping that the hero lives, but they get fucking killed. Like, Shadow of Colossus was a great game because it's just like, oh my. That was so depressing. It wasn't like. Nothing like a turret. Or it's like, um, Heavy Rain. That game. Oh, that game is fucking depressing. Like, in the beginning, you're actually doing game controls like. Brush your teeth. Hurry. Go make breakfast and all that stuff. And then it goes, p spans ahead. It's like, you're actually punching the code on the microwave for the, the chicken nuggets. And you're eating with your son, whom like hates you. There's no dialogue. You're just literally sitting there, like quiet. And it's called that light. Like, who needs a game? Like that? <laughs> but that's why it was so depressing. It's like, y y there's no buttons to talk right now because. Oh man, like your son hates you. You're the voice from your wife. It's like, how are those chicken nuggets? She's like, fine. Oh, wait, I hate that. Word. Fine. But it was just so depressing. Again, this might be a spoiler, but to be honest, this one game of the year. People should have played it. The Walking Dead. Oh man, I went, I went manly tears on that one. The main character Lee ever as you play as for like one I play for it as like for fucking like six months because the game did that in split parts and I put that up there. Uh, watch watch that video. I'm gonna put it in the description. Watch that series from start to finish. Uh, cause I have the uh uh fuck. I have the videos in the description and stuff like that and it's in a playlist. But watch it. But it's like Lee Everett dies. The person you played as, I fucking cried. Cause like, you kept protecting this little girl who you adopted, and you're fucking about to die. And you're like, just deny. Suddenly you're interrupted by the sound of a distant voice crying out in pain. It was it was fucking hard to go through that because it was like you were with them the entire time. It just it was hard. See, if you look in this area now, we're gonna get to a boss fight. It's just the area. How much longer you got? Alright, well, how much does she want? Talking. Doesn't matter. Oh, for the love of <laughs> 20! I punch her! Great! No! See, no, the running no, joke? Get here. <sighs> Fine. Actually, my girlfriend and I aren't texting, but how much longer I'm gonna stay up? Oh, we can be filled in on the amazing race. Sure, <laughs> see, 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 you don't punch her, you instead talk to her, and she says free her, so you free her. Oh, dude, should have shot her when it was easy. Or as Brick said, should have punched her. This is why I like this game. It does that, the running jokes. Let go, of, let go of your cat so she can run, or he can run away. But yeah, that this is why I like the game, where just the running jokes are so painstakingly long. Or I... But it, actually, it's not kind of that, it's just like, it's a real conversation. Which is like a guy's personality, like, Brick likes to punch things. And then they say, don't punch things. And he's like, okay, I'll talk to it. I told you, we should have fucking punch that bitch in the face! Cat, don't use your ninja. Oh! That was on bare skin! That was on bare fucking skin! Fuck, that hurt. That hurt. Oh man, yeah, there's gonna be images of me hating on cats. Fuck. You know what, you gotta you gotta send me um uh you gotta text me that video of the cat when I was fucking around with it. I'm gonna put that in the, the end of this video. It's not that long. But... Well yeah, but I'm gonna add it to the end of the video because when I go home I'm gonna put in the audio and then we're going to um yeah, put it at the end just to show you the fucking cat and me just fucking around with it. That's your dude. Your cat's fucking twitching out right now. Like, look at this. Look at, look at this. So, ready? Ready? Football. Football time. Whoa. Can you see the cat? Can you see the friend? Wow. Oh, for the love of. Alright, you know what? Fine. Just come on up. For 
real this time. I'm unlocking the elevator. I like the ending to this DLC. One because um I, I do it because I'm level 50, so I would kill the boss. What I do is I go like a badass. I fucking punch him to death. Or axe with his axe to death. So yeah, we're at, we're at the final part. So literally it's going to take me a couple minutes to kill the guy meeling, But it, it just feels, instead of just killing him in five shots, it, it just feels... More climactic instead of just me shooting him three times and just it's over. It, it, it just feels like I don't know, not as anticlimactic. But yeah, we're almost done. We're about to hit the cutscene soon. Um, you're gonna love what the princess looks like. Pay attention to the princess. Um, because in the actual thing of Borderlands 2, we actually are, there's a spot of the princess being talked about in the first like uh, 20 minutes of the game, and this is like, right now it's the last DLC that's been released, there's, uh, hopefully there's another one, for it, this joke has went through all of the beginning of the game to this DLC, it's fucking hilarious. I still remember when we were drunk and I was Thanks, like, I'll watch Breaking Bad, you guys go downstairs. <laughs> so yeah, I kill these guys, now I go up, uh, up uh, these stairs to go fight the handsome sorcerer. Or, as people have already figured out, that's handsome fucking Jack. He won, um, best voice actor character shit guy. Which I find awesome because you really, throughout the game, you hated him so much, so when you actually got to fight him... It made it so awesome because you just hated his act. You hate him so bad. Better not fucking climb up on me, fucking cat. Okay, we teleport to Dragon Keep, and here we are, final fight. We got incoming. Precious little queen, but hey. <laughs> this is why he was like the best because you, sure you, you fucking Roland? hated him. We can't wait for Roland because you asked for a boo fight. Better not fucking hurt my legs. Not again, not again. No, hop off, hop off, right now. After you're dead, I'm burning that. See, look at this. I, I just go melee only, just for the fun of it. Plus one, it goes for the long duration of the music. Fucking cat keeps hopping up and just fucking took out our earphones. Don't grab onto my fucking headphones, you shitty ass cat. Oh, fucking damn it. Imagine put a slip and slide there. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Cat would just go. See, look, and I finally kill him with the melee. But look, he's still alive for some reason. Now he's transformed a bit. Big guy coming! I, it looks like the book. <laughs> shh, shh, I don't know how my viewers would feel about that. Because now it's not Pope Benedict who's now chilling in the Pope Mansion. <laughs> that prick should have died. Then switch off his so not saying, I'm done. Now we got Pope Francis, who actually is kind of a. Um, I, I like him a lot more. Because Pope Benedict with the whole thing of a little boys club. That was a bit bad. That was bad. John Paul was very well. I don't even remember John Paul. I remember when he died. I think most of the people No, I mean I remembered him from before that. I'm also you're younger than me and I don't fucking remember that. 
Oh fuck, it's bad to stay there. I was thinking like one little red light gonna pop up. See, look. I don't always use a porn site, but when I do, there's an unusual amount of women looking for sex in my city. <laughs> Have you seen the enemy rap battles? They're fucking good. There's most interesting man in the world versus Old Spice Guy. Look at my fist, now back at me, you know. Back at my fist, now back at me. You mean you're just rap battles in history? Everyone's Not history, and me. And then here's the resolution. You did it. And we can just we listen won. to it. And Roland showed up, and he was really happy, and everyone lived forever, and it was great. The end. Enough. You can't just deny what Jack did to Roland. This is to the you? spoiler. Right, so do you want to do some side quests, or? We need to accept it. Roland is dead. I know. I know. But it's my story. And. You know what? It's okay. He doesn't have to go. Not if you don't want him to. They're enablers. <laughs> I actually want to know how the story ends. Thank you. As the sorcerer's fatal spell hurtled toward the oblivious night, it was clear that only a miracle would save him. But luckily for the night, a miracle is exactly what he got. That was Mordecai's bird. That bird's dead. Hell yeah! So what did you guys think of that fight? I'm looking for some feedback. I like the part. I really did. liked it because I melee him to I death. Enjoyed it. Mark now that was badass. That was old school. Now here's the princess. You probably won't recognize her, but I will because I laughed my ass off when I heard about this. For who else could possibly bring the light back to the world? Who else? But the most beautiful, most glamorous, and most graceful queen in history, but Stallion! It was introed in the beginning of the Borderlands 2. Jack bought a diamond, a pony made out of diamonds, and, and called it Butt Stallion. <laughs> kind of looks like My Little Pony. Just saying. I don't know why. Just saying. Right. Yeah, I know. When I first saw them, like, oh, they made a. I'm MLP reference, but I'm like, no, it's Bud fucking Stallion. <laughs> that sounds bad, me saying that, right? Bud fucking Stallion. But to be honest, I wouldn't think it would be above these guys to do an MLP reference. It's become popular, highly. Oh, another another yellow weapon. Fuck yeah. Oh, dude, I should, I never re remember the name. I gotta remember it. Because right now I'm just depositing this weapon so I can fucking grab this orange gun. Oh, fuck. I didn't catch the name. Fuck it. You're gonna have to pause the video, guys. Okay, you're back? Okay. So, yeah, we're gonna go collect all this cash. Because we got the iridium and we're gonna feed fucking Butt Stallion. Plus, if it was ever going to be a, an MLP reference, it would be uh, for rarity. Fucking cat. Okay, we got all the cash. Let's feed fucking Butt Stallion. Feed Butt Stallion 5 iridium. Who the fuck was that? I wish. <laughs> but so that's kind of it. Last cutscene and then chilling. The end. So, what did you guys think? That was really good, Tina. Hell yeah. That was honestly pretty fun. Hey guys, that spy just coughed up the access codes to the Hyperion moon base. Anybody feel like blowing up a space station? Hell yes, I do! I'm See, so again, I think the last DLC is going to be blowing up the moon base, and I want it to be. That will be fucking awesome. And here's, here's another long joke. 
Sad moment. Goodbye. And in the days to come, they think of their fallen friends, of the adventures they share, both real and imaginary. And they'd remember that no matter how bad things got, they were never truly alone so long as they had each other. I love you guys. Fucking claptrap. <laughs> Then Claptrap said something stupid and ruined it. That was highest. Okay, now it's cutscene. So that was me, Rookie Duty, and Shaky. Uh, Shaky, when do you think you'll be able to do another video with us? Uh, hopefully sometime soon. Dude, we got. Uh, let's try to do the fall in New Vegas. We'll see. I'm gonna start that pretty quick. So. No problem, I'll see if I can get the hub hog set up first. But that's uh, it, guys. Uh, let's get the cat video going up. And, yeah. Until next time, stay tuned and subscribe to Rookie Duty if you yeah. haven't already. Like, fuck, if you sub subscribe, you can see whenever we put up new fucking videos. Never fucking knew that. Uh, and then, yeah, comment if you like the video. If you uh, Fucking if you want to see Shaky again, or if you want me to murder his cat who keeps fucking eating my headphones! Uh, yeah. If you want to see more cat videos too, because we're going to throw one at the end of this thing. Aw, oh, the cat's on my lap. Still doesn't make up for all the shit you did today, you little fucker. Uh, and yeah. Fucking no, stop messing with the cords, you little shit. It seems like when he knows the end of the video is here, and now he's just fucking with us. Yeah, and like the video if you uh, liked all that went on, the cat hating, uh, the random drinking we did. <laughs> it's just random gaming. <laughs> but yeah, do that up. If you guys like this, <laughs> favorite, <laughs> share it, <laughs> do whatever you want. Put it on Twitter, put it on Facebook. No whole bars. Oh, uh, yeah. But see you guys around. Let's peace. Well, I got a peace. You can do it. Okay, turn end the fucking thing. Great job. You defeated the sorcerer and brought light back to the world. Sounds like you deserve a rest. Don't worry about the queen. I'll lead her back to town myself. No. Uh, are we done? We can't be done. Hell no! Nah. You got tons of side quests to do, boo, and I got all the time in the world.